And Joanne, you know, what do you make of President Trump's argument that, look, the U.S. has ramped up testing. It's gone from, you know, very low numbers back in March, now tens and tens of millions. Isn't that on the right track? That's the administration and the president's argument. What of that? Well, clearly not, because the pandemic has gotten worse. If you're trying to open schools, you need to test people, and you need to test them a lot, and you need to get the results fast. If you're trying to open businesses, you need to test people, and you need to test them a lot, and you need to, to get the results fast. If you're trying to diagnose people, I mean, there's, there's regular old-fashioned pneumonia that we've always had, and you're trying to figure out in a hospital setting you know, who has coronavirus and who has something else. And those tests are prioritized. Those are going to be quicker, but there's still there's still backlogs even for sick people. So you know the president keeps saying we only have more cases because we have more tests. Well, the cases are there, whether you test or not. You can spread the disease whether you test or not. You can get very sick whether you test or not, and you can die whether you test or not. So the public health community is pretty unified. The epidemiologists, not, not everyone who ever went to medical school, but the people who really study um, outbreaks and infectious disease, contagious diseases of this type, not that there's ever been one this type, it's, it's sort of a unique virus, but speaking broadly, nobody thinks that we have enough or fast enough tests. That whole litany I just gave, we are not there. 